More than 2,000 students have had awards conferred at winter graduation ceremonies at the Australian National University this week. We spoke to two graduates about career paths they have taken after finishing their studies. My name's Kirelli Hughes and I completed my undergraduate honours degree in Asian Studies here at the ANU in 2003 and I've just completed my PhD in Asian Studies in 2013. My name is Annabelle and I just graduated from the Master of International Affairs and the Master of Diplomacy. Most PhD students select a different university from their undergraduate university to complete their PhD studies to give them more of a, I guess, more of a rounded education. I couldn't choose another university because when you've done your bachelor's degree at the best university for Asian studies, you've got to come back for your PhD. So I'm currently a reparation officer with the Defence Abuse Response Task Force. My role is to sort of analyse complex information, um, which is sometimes quite confronting. Um, when I returned to the ANU, um, to start my PhD, I worked part-time for the Australia Indonesia Business Council, um, and one of the um, one of the highlights in that role and in my professional career so far was meeting SBY, the Indonesian president, when he visited Darwin in um, in 2012. Uh, we hosted a lunch for him, and I actually got to introduce him to a room full of people, which was definitely a highlight. Well, I think, I think the main thing to take away from it is that there are so many jobs available. I think, um, you know, if you do dentistry, you come out a dentist. If you do um, medicine, you're a doctor. And you do the Master of Diplomacy, you don't come out a diplomat. But what you do come out is with this understanding that there is a huge array of job opportunities out there. When I began my studies at the ANU, I was in a program called the Distinguished Scholars Program. Um, and one of the other Distinguished Scholars um, for Indonesian Studies was Jennifer Robinson, who's gone on to have a really fantastic and amazing career in human rights law and is based in London has been uh, working on the Julian Assange case. I've also studied with other students who've gone on to win Rhodes scholarships and other prestigious international scholarships as well. Um, but also students who've gone on to have really great careers here in Australia working for the Australian government and also working in Indonesia for uh, different multinational companies who are working there.